Oh yeah. So moving on to step 16, you can see now we are working on the rear tires. And if you remember in step 15, I was showing you that these ones were shorter, so you had to make sure that you got the right screw. Well, notice that these ones are longer. That was a BA3. These are BA2, which are going to be the longer screws that were in this bag. So I'll get those out and the nuts. And of course, in the box, we're going to need um, the other two parts trees that have the wheels on them. So you've got the big one that's going to go into the tire and then the two caps just like in the on the front tires. And then of course we've got our uh, should be able to get into one of these. We've got our sand tires. So I'll just get all the parts ready to go and we'll put these ones together. This is an incredibly hard step. Uh, because if you try to do this the way that Tamiya suggests, just pushing the wheel through, etc., you are going to find this very awkward. And in fact, I've been doing this for over an hour trying to get those wheels into the tire. Because that wheel and that tire are unbelievably uh, impossible to do. I mean, you, that, that hole needs to be stretched over this wheel to actually get it in. However, I've just decided I've got to find my own way. And of course there is the finish, one of the finished products of the tires. So it's done. I'm going to show you how to put this tire in this wheel together in a much shorter time frame than just trying to squeeze it through with your fingers. So here's the way that I'm going to put these wheels into this tire. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this tire, do what they say. You're kind of going to squeeze it a bit so you can get the first little bit on, which isn't easy to do. Okay. So we've got it that far. Well, now you're going to take needle nose pliers and you can grab the entire tire. So the insert side and the half of the tire. And you're going to push down and pull up on the tire. And we're going to do that all the way around. And I can feel it moving, so I know that it's working. And you can see that most of the tire is through. So I just want to make sure that we've, we're turning this correctly. So we should be able to get that through and turn. And there we go. And there you have it. The wheel is in the tire. So now it's just going to be a matter of putting these pieces on the ends to get them through. But this is a simple solution which gives you leverage on the on the tire so that you don't rip your fingers up because mine are extremely sore over the last hour trying to do it any other way. So I suggest getting yourselves the pliers and pulling it across and you'll be able to get these wheels into a grasshopper tire a lot easier than how they suggest. So we need the longer screws. We need five of those for the tire. And they're the longer ones. So we've got a 
One, two, three, four, and five and then we need the nuts. One, two. Three. Four. And five and then there's a few parts left over so there we have the screws and the nuts one two three four five so now what we'll do is we're going to screw on these pieces for the tires now all you got to make sure is that the star is in the right place right so you can see that there it's a a complete match and the same thing applies to the back make sure that the star pattern matches so that we can screw these in so what I like to do is just make sure that the nut itself is in the hole and then use my finger to hold the back side then grab one of the screws Put it in the hole and then when I start spinning this it should go into the nut which it is doing and I don't tighten it I, I wait because I really don't want to over I don't want to find that I've I've tightened it up if it's not a perfect fit yet so I'll just go around and make sure that the nuts are all correct nicely in the right spot. There we go. Put my finger on it again. Stick the screw in the hole. And then start to spin get it in a bit so I know that it's going in and then we have the last one right here Now that one didn't quite go in right, so I'm going to make an adjustment before I put it in. Because I've got to be able to get that nut in properly. and you can see that it is doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten all those and we will have finished the rear wheels. And the only other thing is I'm going to uh, 
use the acrylic paint again, and then we'll have the rear wheels all uh, with the white lettering. So I'll do that as well, and then we can move on. So there we have the finished rear tires for the Grasshopper. And I've painted them, uh, and I just think that looks really sharp. Um, I like it so much better with the painted lettering. So that is step 16. So now we will move on to step 17, which is attaching the front wheels to the chassis. So as you can see for step 17, we are going to put on the, wheel, the front wheels. Now you can see it's grease again, but we will not need to do that because these bushings are getting replaced um, with the ball bearings, which we still have four left from the bearing uh, kit that I got. Uh, and then here it's showing you need the lock nuts, which is bag C, which is, there's bag C, and inside of there you're going to find the four lock nuts and a couple of leftover screws, which might get used in something else later, but we'll see. So first off, let's put the uh, bearings into the wheels. And as you can see, we just need to pop these in on either side. And on this one. So same idea. And then they are going to go onto the car. Now, there's one thing you're going to, I'll show you. There's your wheels. I've, I've got them in. But I didn't put these on to the uh, ball joints because I wanted to see how the tires were going to, to fit here. So if you notice, um, if I was to clamp these down, the wheels aren't completely straight. There's a bit of a toe-in happening on either side. Or, this one is towed in quite a bit, and this one isn't. So I'm just going to make some final adjustments on the steering rods before I lock them in. So I'm just going to see what can be done, or if that is the standard setting. So I didn't do any adjustments. I actually have now uh, clamped those on and it actually doesn't look too bad. I'll move that there. But we'll see when we actually, you know, start driving it as to whether that's a problem or not. Because I find there's, maybe it doesn't show as much on the video, but there's a little bit more of a toe in than um, I was expecting with the standard setting. But I'm gonna leave it alone. And so what we're going to do is we're now going to move on to step 18, which is putting on the rear wheels. And we're getting down to the last few parts on the parts tree. So those pieces are B8. So again, find your B tree. And you can see that the two of those pieces are right there. So I'll take those off. And then there are some pins. So you're going to see that from bag C and bag D, there are some pieces that we're going to need. Um, the bag C with the nuts and bag D right here has the pins that we're going to need to put into those black pieces. So um, I'll get all those ready and then we'll start installing those. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our nuts, we've got the... Um, the little shafts and we've got these as well and you can see this has to go into the rear axle so I'm going to grab one of the rear axles we're going to stick one of the pins into the axles keep it level then we're going to take one of these and you can see it's going to fit on either side it doesn't matter there we go and then we take one of the wheels and remember their rotation the the uh, direction matters you can see that 
this is designed to go that way and this is the back of the other one so I need to grab the other tire so you can see that the rotation for the grip is that way we're going to stick that in make sure that it's in right grab our lock nut which I find what's easier to do with this is actually just stick it in so you've actually got it in the wrench itself to start and then we can put it in I'm just realizing it's actually not screwing in because we've got the other tire is in so I think we're gonna have to hold the other one which is gonna be interesting to do and I'll have to do it on the other side but then we've got our rear tire on the back of the car so there we have it and now they're on this is getting to look really really cool we're almost at the finishing line so step 19 is installing the running battery now I'm not gonna do this part yet other than get the door um, from the parts tree which is I think it's it's right here so that's the door and we're going to install it but I'm not going to put a battery in because we still have to work on the car um, we still got to do the decals any touch-up painting etc and then the driver so I want to paint the driver as well so I don't want to put a running battery in when we're not really anywhere near um, ready to run it so I'll just go ahead and install the door so it's a pretty easy battery compartment. I mean, there's the door. I've taken it off the parts tree. And you can see that there's a notch here and a notch here. And you can see there's a notch here and there's one up here. So the whole idea will be to put those into those spots, slide it back, and then you're going to push this and it'll snap into place here. I won't do this right now because we don't have the battery in um, and I'll show this later and then all you'll need to do is when this is all fully closed it says pull and you're gonna pull this back to get the battery out again so pretty interesting setup for uh, putting in the battery because um, it's all done from the bottom